Hey people, Theo here, and I'm back with more Stalker Clear Sky. In the last episode, I fuck. I entered army army warehouses and come on. There we go. I entered army warehouses and did the story mission here, but also went here because I want to get the stash and explore a bit. And then I'm going to go to garbage to upgrade my new sniper rifle. I also have some artifacts that I'm going to sell, so I should have enough money to do that. I hope. Give me the ammo. And the rifle. Okay, first let's go and do. Okay. Armory bastards. I tried to help you here and you start shooting me. Where are they? The fuck? I didn't even see the grenade thing pop up. That's the problem that's about this game. They are so surgical with the grenades that they literally they will literally throw a grenade and it's going to hit it will hit I'm sure of that it's going to land right on top of you but the problem with that is if they're far enough it lands on top of you and immediately explodes so you don't have a way of, you know, dodging. Really? How many shots does it take to put you down, man? Unload all of this stuff. Okay, everything is unloaded. So I got some milk. Good. Good, yeah I don't. Also, so I don't forget, don't forget to go and vote on what I should play next. For now we have three votes on Metro Last Light. And if you want to know how to vote, you just go to my channel, go to the community tab, and there you will see the vote. It's the first thing that comes up. And there you can vote on what I should play next. There's five games to choose from. And yeah. Okay. Uh, what do I get rid of? That thing, for example. And the food. The food. Come on. How the hell do you get inside here? Uh, map. Back. Backpack is in a train car under the bridge in the army warehouse.
Jammed. That also reminds me, I'm going to need to repair this thing. Because the accuracy is starting to suck. Yeah, the condition is pretty bad. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to jump up there? There we go. But it's not here. It's supposed to be inside, right? Backpack is in a train car under the bridge. It says in. Where the fuck is the in? I gotta go on top. Am I going to jump from the bridge and land on top of the rail car? No, he just has the shotgun. Thanks for that. And this. Unload. Unload. Drop. Drop. And... Fuck it. Also, pull this thing out. No anomalies and no artifacts. That's kind of surprising. Thought there would be something. Oh, up there is a sniper, I guess. Also, save game, because I would forget it. Nothing and oh, good. They've been having a shootout for quite a long time. Okay, I want to see the tower. What is in there? Okay, I hear you. Just need to wait a bit. Nothing. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Oh, he has a regular SVD. down. Is this, this thing supposed to be suppressed? Stop running. Here 
Here's a grenade for you, bitch! Hey, enjoy your meal! You like hey, enjoy Here's your a meal! But I think I heard another one. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get that guy. Yeah, I guess there is another guy. There isn't. Sorry. Thanks for that. Ooh, thanks for that. Okay. Unload everything. And what will I drop? Well, I guess these things. What's the worst condition one? I think it's these two. Take up this thing. Oh, so when I unload them, it actually adds weight. That's stupid. Well, at least we have rain sound effects. Not like in the last episode when I entered army warehouses. This rain sound effects just were gone for some reason. And they're gone again. Is that SVD? There it is. Classical one. SVD M2. A weapon that has been widely, widely used in all Soviet and Russian military operations since the 1960s. It has earned its reputation for exceptional reliability and ease of use. It yes. uses 7.62 7H14 ammo. Yeah. I'm just going to probably be using this thing. As my sniper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so put on this thing. Uh, this thing sells for more, so that I'm keeping. Damn. This has the lowest weight. Okay, there we go. Now I can get out of here. Because the bosses are just going to keep respawning. So, yeah. Also, I'm going to look up that stash and see if, you know, somebody else doesn't know if it's like a bug or something. See you then. Yeah, I was right. It's on top of the cards. Not in the cards. So let's real quick do that. Let's so real quick check, jump on top of the train. And then I guess I'm going to garbage. Yep. Of course it's these grenades, the ones that I don't really need. Okay, well, I'm thinking right now that I'm going to go to garbage to upgrade my weapons. So, I'll meet you, I guess, at the duty base. I guess they are the only ones that would be able to upgrade the SVD. So, yeah, see you then. I fucking hate this game sometimes. I found out that you can only upgrade the SVD. Uh, Freedom can only upgrade it. They're the only ones. But this is the second emission in 10 minutes. And since I have to suffer 
you have to suffer with me. Because, no, I don't have the time for this. I, in half an hour, I need to start getting ready to go to work. I genuinely don't have time for this. So, I'm going to apologize if today's episode comes out a bit late. Because I'm a bit behind on my schedule. Like, the video that I'm recording right now is going to come out today. So I'm not sure if it's going to come out on time. I hope it does, but I'm not sure. So, yeah. No, oh, I hate this already. The game... The thing is, the emission is supposed to start in 19 seconds because this is 19 seconds. But in reality, it's more like almost 19 minutes. And I hate it. I hate this thing. <sighs> and also, I can't even upgrade stuff because, you know, what would you. What do you know? The important characters during an emission, they despawn. For some fucking reason. So I can't even sell stuff and then start upgrading. Also, I'm probably going to be selling the Vintar, the uh, VSS. Because why should I log it around when I'm going to have a better sniper rifle? Oh yeah, I also can't even pull out my gun. Great. Great, amazing. But also, the thing is, I'm going to be here because I want to sell stuff first. <sighs> and you see, this is how long it fucking takes. It's already been, what, like, two, three minutes? It's ridiculous. I still just hate this game. Like, when I'm recording, just normally, the game doesn't have an emission, like, at all. But then I start recording when I don't have enough time. I'm short on time, basically. And out of nowhere, game pulls out two emissions. Like, what the fuck? I don't have time for this shit. Well, at least the emission started. Now the screen's going to be all wobbly. <sighs> I the thing is I watched the review on like a full review on the whole whole stalker series. And is it me or are everyone's hands growing out of their asses? Ah, it's not me. Okay. Does that that I want recoil recoil accuracy accuracy so we need recoil recoil oh requires upgrade oh fuck me then am I right recoil accuracy okay at least there's something prepare this thing I have a lot of money because I sold most of my artifacts even the fire one I sold that too because why keep it if I'm not not going to use it. And plus, the money is useful quite a bit. Hello. Yo, bro, I'll be with you in a sec. Oh yeah, you don't buy guns. That's this guy right in, like inside here, if I'm not mistaken. Wait a second, sir. Hey, buddy. Way to offload your crap on me. I'll know better next time. Hey, and on the barrel mount. Larger for NATO guns. So this stuff... This stuff, this stuff... That too. And also the ammo for it, because I'm not going to be using it. Okay, is that all? I think that's all. This one doesn't have an underbound mode, does it? No. Okay. Well, I guess we're putting the main mission on hold. I'm going to be searching for the upgrades. Or somebody real quick look that up, like what do I need to do to find said upgrades? And then I'll come back. Okay, so. I... Trade, 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 trade,
uh, I looked it up. Two upgrades uh, will be found in a stash. Uh, is this guy? Hey, he. Something for me. What can you offer me? There we go. Uh, yes, that. Okay. Okay. And there's another flash drive. Okay. So I'll do two things that I need. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I still normally. Fuck. But I didn't look which ones there were. Fuck. Okay, let me look up which ones there were. Uh, da, da, da. No. No, not that. This. Named Loot in Bushes and Soldier's Corpse. Loot in Bushes, Soldier's Corpse. This one. Okay, so I need to go with that one. What you got for me? Real quick. Yeah, man. Duty ass. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Not bad. There you are, my guy. Yes. Okay, that's that. And now I need loot and bushes. This one. So just head forward, I guess. And I can run basically indefinitely now. Yay! Very good, actually. Also, let me change the ammo type. Oh, wait. Also, I want to pull this thing up because maybe there are artifacts around me. I just didn't notice this. Okay, coming close. And the last upgrade is supposed to be given me by the leader of duty. But I do a mission for him. So it seems like I'm going to be joining freedom. There it is. Okay, let's go back to base, upgrade it. Because when I looked up, it's supposed to be the mission for destroying a bandit outpost or something like that for freedom that's and you know the uh, the commander of freedom or leader of freedom there we go will give me the upgrade like the flash drive with the upgrade Hello, my dude. Money. Is it me, or are everyone's hands growing out of their asses? Nah, it's not me. Accuracy and recoil. Well, I hope that is. Like, it has maximum damage. Oh my god. Okay, let's real quick go to the faction leader for freedom. Oh, fuck off. Really? I don't have time for this shit. Come on down. Thanks for your help. Sup? I sure as heck didn't expect it. Because most people in the zone only care about themselves. I reckon we gave the mercs a good fight. The tunnel they used to get I into didn't... the valley is out of action, but the boys are going to blow the whole place to bits to make sure not even a mouse can sneak into our valley without us knowing. There is oh. still the issue of someone giving the mercs a contract to cause us problems, but I think we'll get to the client soon enough. Anyway, here is your reward. Good so luck. I didn't you need to do a mission, I already did it. It's the thing that, you know, like, you help them with. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought that I needed to do another mission for them. Good. 
Great, actually. What the? Goodbye, laddie. Uh, there Goodbye, we go. Laddie. GIF. Another 30% accuracy. The accuracy is almost maxed out. That's going to be fun as hell. Okay. Find the upgrade for this guy. Not really. Uh, this guy? Yeah. Where can you lead me? Gordon, Dark Valley, Dark Valley garbage. I guess flea market then. Yeah, let's go. I got... I got 20,000 rubles. Why not use it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought the game crashed. <sighs> Oi. Okay. I need to get to the Red Forest. That's where I need to go. No! You fucker! Okay, there we go. Can you lead me to Red Forest? Agroprom swamps garbage Red Forest. There we go, let's go. God damn it, only seven minutes. Before I need to start getting ready for work. Oh. Hmm? Come on. Okay, so I am here. Let's go talk to the dude then. Like, that's the thing. I don't know if I join Freedom, I'll be able to just walk around here, because those are duty guys that just walk past. Are you to buy all this I received a message from the mercenaries at the army warehouses. Seems like they got trapped by some weird anomaly during the large emission. They're saying they can't find a way out. Always coming back to the same place they start from. They specify their coordinates. The mercenaries provided you with some very interesting information. It seems I was right. The large emission that shook the zone was so powerful that it changed space itself, forcing it into a loop. Kinda like a Mobius ring? Don't go scientific on me, Professor. It's become loop. Whichever way you go, you end up at your original spot. As a result, after the emission, stalkers got trapped in space bubbles around Limansk, unable to get out. Ugh. We know quite a bit now. The mercenaries coordinates, PDA frequency, and now I have a better understanding of these bubbles. So how do I get the mercenaries out of the bubble? Well, actually I got stuck in the bubble myself a couple of days ago. At the time I didn't know it was a new anomaly. So I thought I was losing my marbles. The forest clearing seems real familiar, but wherever I go I can't find a way out. And then the zone itself gave me an artifact, which showed me the way out of the bubble. I called it Compass. On my way home, I was mugged by the bandits. They spared me, an old man, but they took the Compass. Get me that artifact, and I'll think of a way to get the mercenaries out. Do you know what the bandits have dug in? The scum set up camp on the edge of the Red Forest. I've uploaded the coordinates to your PDA. Okay. Hope to see you again. Okay, this guy is only for repairs. Okay, I don't really mind that. So I need to go kill these guys. Okay then. Let's see about that. Real quick. At least I hope I can get there somehow. Hmm. Need to pull this thing out. I can't go that way. How the hell am I supposed to get there? Oh, maybe through that? Let's 
let's use the SVD. Oh, right. Don't. Didn't have it loaded. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that feels so good. Oh, yeah, I can't run with it because the handling is so bad. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Give me all that. Take on my shooter. Okay, another two down. Another three down. Yes. No. Nothing. Ooh, I guess that's the compass. Fifty. Thousand rupees. A rare artifact has been several years since one was found. The artifact can locate gaps in anomaly fields, although efficiently acting as a compass. It is believed that it can help one traverse the most complex anomaly fields completely unharmed. However, very few know how to handle it properly. Plus six endurance. So I can now sprint in definitely? Is what you're telling me? Okay. I'll take it. Of course there was a VS. SA Avalanche, a modified version of the silent Vintar BC sniper rifle. The SA Avalanche features a folding star capable of burst fire and is a large magazine initially intended for use by special units in assault operations that required silent flashless fire. Huh. Okay, that's pretty fun. But I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. So without much further ado, goodbye. Hope to see you next one. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And hope you have a great rest of your day. Ciao.